Welcome back to the metagame with Oni Black Mage as we continue our walkthrough guide for Batman Arkham City. This is part 2 and we're covering Park Row still. This time we'll be covering the central church area and a few outlying areas, just working our way southward down from our last puzzle. So immediately after our last puzzle where we pick off, just go a little bit off from the building, leap down into the alleyway, turn around, and you're going to see a breakable wall. Pretty simple, just go ahead and blow it up. Inside you're going to see a small alcove, but more importantly you're going to see a motorized door that needs to be opened up with your REC. Inside, sitting on top of a barrel that you can easily see from the outside alley, is a Riddle Trophy. Go ahead and uh, knock the door up again and you'll see up on the roof is another Catwoman Trophy that you optionally can collect later. As you can see, Batman can't collect it like that. Now that we have the Disruptor for guns, what we can do is actually go back up north and although you'll see it later, I return back to this area, I actually do skip it over. Right there to my left is actually another Disruptor area for a turret guarding a Riddler Trophy, but I uh, kind of overlooked it on this run through, but we'll pass by again. The problem with a lot of these sandbox areas is that uh, it's a little bit difficult to be thorough in your first run through, so doing a cleanup sweep afterwards, sometimes even twice, is a little necessary. The inside areas are a lot more, you know, they're simpler to be thorough, mostly because you can easily sweep a room and make sure that you have everything before continuing on. So go ahead, disrupt the little turret up on the ceiling, destroy the breakable wall, and collect your Riddler trophy. To make sure you're as thorough as possible, make sure to beat up as many green thugs as you find. Each one that you beat up drops anywhere from, I think, three to five different riddle locations from anywhere from, I've seen, I think, one to two different areas. So, if you want more question marks to appear on your map, what you need to do is just simply go and beat up more green thugs and interrogate them. It's best to do that as early as possible. still in the courthouse area. You can see if right above my flight path is actually where the next gun turret area that I'm overlooking at this time is. But like I said, we'll be returning to there very shortly. Instead, glide down to this alcove here. Actually, or the ceiling. This is a very simple chap setup. What you're going to see is a small riddle globe right there, and off to the front is a pressure plate. Simply step on the pressure plate, and you're going to see a little riddle trophy. Just pull out your back claw and nab it. Alright, at this time we're going to drop down that roof and we're going to examine two more riddles. Right there off to the left is a very, you know, ostentatious Harvey Dent office. That's his campaign office. Scan the front of that building, that's one riddle. Another one is you need to be on top of the courthouse itself to view the riddle from the proper angle. That's the courthouse and that's the riddle that you're going to need to scan. It's another one of those question marks that we saw so many of in Arkham Asylum. They're back now, just as, uh, just as tricky, but this first one is very simple. Just go to the very uh, end of the flagpole, scan it, and that's it. As usual, you can expect to find a lot more later that are very tricky. We're going over to the church now. Not necessarily on the roof of the church, but right behind it, you're going to see a very obvious riddle globe, or dome, I'm really not sure what you call these things. A little cage. Yeah, a little trophy cage, and right next to it is just a simple decryption little keypad. I made deciphering these a little easier these than the last time I remember. I remember in the first game what you had to do was wait for the rumble on both ends of your sticks and then just, you know, kind of hold it for a while. And this one they made it very simple, just making it a very simple word decryption to help ease 
you know, make sure you're doing the right thing. Anyway, drop down behind the church, you're going to see a series of plates. You do not want to run across all four of these. The red ones will deactivate the cage up top. Just stand on the green one, it'll open up the cages. You'll notice a Catwoman one there. And pull out your bat line. Bat line, line launcher, same thing. Once again, you'll see one up on the ceiling, because apparently cats can climb ceilings. Tagged it, just for future reference. And since we're here at the church, we might as well just go ahead and go inside and collect the few trophies that are in. very likely got a few on your first run through the church anyway as soon as you started the Enigma Conundrum. So inside, no special uh, video for the Riddler just yet anyway. Off to the right, past this little gurney, what you're going to see is a desk and a table. Angle the camera upward so that way you have a somewhat forced zoom in angle of the articles on the table, and that's the rule itself. It's uh, right past there, off to the side. Like I said, indoors it's a lot easier to find, track, and uh, make sure you're thorough with a lot of these riddles. You probably noticed this one very early on. What you see is a breakable wall that you can easily just bust through with your line launcher, zip on through, and there's a very simple trophy. Drop down, run to the front of the church, or the back of the church, I suppose. And off to the left, as you may recall in the beginning when they were doing the tutorial on how to, in predator mode, take down foes and one of them was inside one of the confessionals, the other confessional is one you can break down into and rob a trophy of. The last one you saw on the minimap was right next to the entrance, but to be more precise it's actually up in the bell tower. You probably saw this one very early on as well and wondered how on earth do I get that down from the roof? Just simply back claw it down. That's actually it for the church inside anyway. And to be honest, we're pretty much almost halfway through for the total number of trophies and riddles for the entire area anyway. It goes by pretty quickly since, despite how much they try to spread them out over this area, in the end there are just so many that they end up being quite tightly clustered together. This is the part where I remember that I skipped over that turret area like I mentioned before, so we're just going to zip back over. On the minimap, it seems like it's rather far away, but as you can see for the beacon, honestly, when you glide over, it's really not that far. It kind of makes you aware that in this quote-unquote city, it's actually quite small. Especially when you do the Zaz races, just trying to go from phone to phone. The fact that you can cross the city in just a couple minutes, literally, is uh, almost makes you feel that like the city's actually kind of small. It's also especially empty since you can really only enter a few buildings. I mean, maybe half a dozen buildings, and that's really not that much better than the number of buildings in the first game, so it seems kind of a waste to put it in the sandbox environment when you really don't take advantage of all the space that you have. You can enter all the buildings, they're really just there just kind of to get in your way of your gliding and to provide more nooks and crannies that you can. Uh, hide stuff in. They really had a lot of potential and as much as I like this game I have to say that it seemed like a bit of wasted potential on their part. But anyway you saw me just go ahead and uh, deactivate the turret and just run behind and grab that after sequencing out the Riddler trophy from behind the cage. The next one is not far behind just zip over the roof 
As you can see, we're passing by the earlier riddle we did with the uh, four question marks. So if you're watching this in advance, you can pre-plan your round and just collect it while you're here. Once again, you're going to pull out the disruptor. It's probably just as well that we gave this thing time to recharge because we couldn't do all the gun turrets at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this was a very well thought out execution in my part. And it's not a sloppy hindsight that I'm doing after the fact. So, getting back on track. We're going to go back to the church area and use that as a... Uh, as a nice reference point. I have to say, uh, after doing Park Row for the first time, the remaining footage is actually done a little bit more cleaner and thorough on the remaining runs since I learned very early on by doing Park Row that it's simply better to scour the area first, plan the route after defeating all the green goons, and then making it easier on you guys to follow rather than doing this back and forth, back and forth. Anyway, as you saw marked on the map here, you're going to see this uh, cage. Let's go ahead and check the location. It's right here, directly south from the entrance of the church. And if you put on detective mode, you're going to see that the leading line to this is actually up, way up, and around the corner of this building. There's a question mark that you have to hit. Now, there are two ways you can go around this. The probably simple way would be to simply hit it with a remote battering, but since we're awesome, what we're going to do is simply throw a regular battering at it, quick throw, and the like 8 or 9 seconds that they give you, you can easily just glide around and land on top of the riddle and grab it just the nick of time, just like Batman would. That is the hideout for the Riddler, if you want to continue the Riddler conundrum and rescue the victims. But we're just going to pause on that and do some... Uh, miscellaneous collection. I'm going to return to the church front so that way it's a recognizable you know, launching point. I don't know if you were uh, similar to me and you kind of get easily lost even in smaller than ridiculously huge cities like this. Alright, so back to the beginning. So we're just going to go ahead and start sweeping up again. Follow this lead, it's literally up and over this building. Dive down, and in this precise area, notice this sign. This sort of clown-faced bar sign, just hanging on the side of the alley. There are two of them actually on either side of the street, on the block. Just scan one, and that'll solve the riddle. Going up from this. This was very straightforward. Uh, up on the roof, similar to where we just were, just simply uh, claw your way up. You're going to see one of these, I'm not exactly sure what you call these little uh, huts on the top of uh, the roofs there. I gotta say that uh, I don't hang around roofs that often in the cities to know what those, the proper word for those are called. I might find out later, but either way, this one had a breakable wall, bust through, grab the trophy, you're on your way. You can see the movie theater that you later fight the final boss in. I suppose some of you hate spoilers, so I won't say who it is. But on the side, you're going to see a very obvious clue that, you know, I'm hoping that you didn't pick up on. But we're going to pause there right outside the movie theater, and we'll pick this up in part three. Thanks for watching the metagame. I'm Oni Black Mage. Good gaming. This is OBM out.